The new Field Picker tool allows easy placement of multiple fields on a layout and in a variety of formats. This incredible time-saving tool is going to be demonstrated with the brand new Contacts template that ships with FileMaker Pro 13. So let's go into layout mode of the Contacts template and let's start by showing you the existing field tool. It's very easy to use, very straightforward. You simply drag it allows you to select a field, whatever one you want. You choose whether you want a label or not, and it places it on there. That's easy and straightforward and still very useful. We're going to show you how to use the field picker if you're actually creating a more complex layout. So let's go and make a new layout, and you'll see the brand new layout report assistant, which makes it very easy to make layouts for a computer, like a Mac or Windows, a touch device, like an iPad or an iPhone and whether you're outputting to a printer. So we'll choose computer, we'll choose form, and then we'll click on our field picker tool. You can see it's a floating palette which is great. That means you can switch layouts, do whatever you want and it still stays there. The big advantage here is that you have a lot more options. So if you're creating a layout from scratch it may be very helpful to have these additional options. So let's try some of them out. We're going to come down here to the company field and simply drag it out. Now you notice that it's very nice that it shows you the size of the label and the field together so you can easily place it where you want to. Now you also have the Manage Database icon here that allows you to go right into Manage Database and create a field. But you can also create a field right inside of this floating palette. Just simply click plus type in your field and there it is it's been created you can even change the field type here if you want and then we'll drag this out and you notice that it's a date field so it's made it a little bit smaller so it tries to think for you and help you out let's try placing multiple fields on here we're going to come down to our home address and home address 2 and if you have contiguous fields you can simply shift click and it'll select everything from the beginning to the end. And then you can drag them out together. And again, it shows you the size. If you have discontiguous fields, like first and last, that you want to drag out together, you can hold down the Command key for the Macintosh or the Control key for Windows and drag them out as well. If you have a more complicated set of fields and you have good naming conventions, you can type in the filter and get all the fields you want. Shift click them together if you want and then drag them. Or you can switch to a custom order like this and even rearrange the fields if you want. That way when you drag them out they'll be in the exact order you drag them. So I'll pull this one back down here, shift click on these, drag them out, and you notice they're exactly in that same order. Now down below here we have the drag options. Where the fields are placed, we've been using on top of each other or vertically. You can also choose them to be horizontal and that would be good for a list view or a portal. You can choose to have no labels, labels on top, which again labels on top would be good for a list view or a portal, and then labels as we've been using them so far. So you can see that this field picker tool makes complex layout design very simple, very quick, and very easy.